Um, yeah. After the sporting game, you said that your team isn't at the moment isn't very good at controlling parts of games. <clears throat> Could you just explain more what you meant? I talk about that particular moment uh, because after half time you need to get through those 10 15 minutes in a different way. We gave so many balls away, you know, and uh, that doesn't allow you to restart. We give the ball away, um, and that gives them some confidence. They score the goal, and then they go, the game becomes a little bit more open. After that, we dealt with it much better. So it was just for a period of time. Ideally, for coaches, 96 minutes, you dominate that. Very difficult to do, especially when you play the kind of opponent that is sports, you know. But is that just, again, the importance of being ruthless and being and constantly being at it? And is it a case of this team is very good when it's constantly on the attack, not mm -hmm. sitting back and waiting for opponents to and um, and please. Yeah, but in order to achieve that, there's a lot of things that you have to do really good. And uh, they, there were periods with a lot of simple things. We did it uh, not at our best. And then that has an impact. You lose territory, you lose the ball in areas that doesn't allow you to press. So you have to sit a little bit deeper to get out of that situation. It's tricky because every player is back to goal. So it's easier to unlock that, uh, that first press. So it's a lot of things that are attached to that. And then just finally, um, is there any update on Ben White since his surgery, what he's doing right now? Is he going, going back in the gym soon? Is it still very early days? Well, it's still early days. Uh, the surgery went really well. There's no reaction after that. Um, he's improving day by day, but it's a process. First, the first four, six weeks that we have to be really cautious. Um, don't put any stress on that knee. And then we'll see how quickly, how fast, and, um, and, and how the knee reacts after that. John? <coughs> um, you touched on this earlier on, but uh, with the Jurgen Klopp resigning, because he's just you know, the love and Pep looking like he's aged 20 years. It seems with this job that you're in, even if you're successful, it's bad for your health. How do you, how do you cope with that? I don't know. I love what I do. You know, I, I love every minute of it. Um, I take it like these things are going to happen. You know, I mean, if you want to be a coach, you're going to lose football matches, you're going to have tough periods. Uh, most probably you're going to get sacked. Uh, <laughs> It's part of it. When I did my coaching budget, I said, I don't know when, but one day it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, okay, beautiful. So you have to go through that journey. Is that actually how you go through that journey? How you take it? You know how much perspective you have, what the people around you, how much they can help you through it. And you're going to suffer but in life, whatever you do. I'm sure you have difficult moments in, in, in your profession. There is nothing, everything beautiful. But learn from it, take it on board and, and move forward. So you, from an early age, you, you told yourself that this was the way to cope with it? Well, that's what I tried, because if not, I'm not going to enjoy it. I really want to, I mean, with the opportunity and, and, and the position that I'm in, if I don't enjoy it, I think that would be crazy. That would be very selfish. There's something that I don't want to promote to my kids or my family. You know, I've been choosing to do this job, so I need to enjoy it. Is losing a match, I hate it, absolutely hate it. it it drives me mad, you know, <laughs> I really suffer from it. And, uh, but uh, it's a way to improve and, and do things differently and, okay, move on. Mike? Miguel, after um, Liverpool's win at Southampton last weekend, Arla Slot said, we're not getting carried away, the lead is eight points, because and he referenced Arsenal about 18, 20 months ago when you were eight points clear in sort of March, April, and didn't win the title. So he said, we're not getting carried away. Now you are the sort of chasers, if you like, rather than at the top. Does that give you the belief that it can be done, that eight points is not an insurmountable lead to overhaul and you have the squad, possibly the best squad left, or the best squad at the top to reel them in, haven't you? Well, yes, we've been there and, um, and to sustain it for 10 months is extremely difficult. Everything has to go your way. And suddenly when you think that you have it, one day, plop, collapses and it can be through a result it can be through injuries it can be from other kind of decisions and uh, and it can happen in any moment and, and we have to be ready for that but again it's something that we don't control what we can control is what we can do and do that our very best if anyone's got the squad to reel in an eight point deficit it's arsenal isn't it well i really believe in my team yes ed oh, Michael, just uh, on on Pep, um, at man city Obviously, that they, you had a few injuries this season, and now like, they've got quite a few, and I think that's really affected their results. Do you have any doubts that they can come back from this position, obviously, 
when they get a few players back the real threats to, to the title still? No, because even with those injuries, they deserve to win every game. It's simple. You look at all the stats and everything that they do, they are always better than the position. They deserve to win the games. Uh, this is football. They deserve, but you don't win it. Okay, it's for a reason. But and, and likewise with, with your side, you sort of started to click now. Uh, last time you went to play West Ham away, you won six 0 a few, few months ago. Do you sense that the team is, you know, having scored five in, in midweek as well away, you're really sort of picking the straps. It's another game. I don't take anything for granted. Just make the preparation the best that you possibly can. Focus, understand the difficulty, the importance of the game and go um, with that mentality into the game to, to be at our best and, uh, and go to win the game for sure. And finally to Gary. You said you sort of hate losing a game. What does, hate, what does it look like when you lose a game? What does it look like when you win a game? Then? What does hate mean to you? Uh, it's, that, it's that pain. It's, it's you suffer. Um, you try to find the, the answers to a lot of things that are very difficult in the moment. Try to change decisions. Um, it can come from other things, you know. You can be upset with the performer. You can be upset for certain decisions. You can be upset for many ways. And uh, especially because you put so many hours, effort, energy into something and you don't get it. And especially when you feel, I deserve to get it and I don't get it. And this game is so unpredictable. It is painful. So that's it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs>